Greetings and salivations everyone, I'm Krista and welcome to Sea Rad. Today I've got an unboxing and review of the Bounty Collection Grogu's Hover Pram Pack, so stay tuned. And hey, if you find that you like our videos and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future. Sea Rad. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. I'm so excited that the newest addition to the Bounty Collection is finally out for sale, and I cannot wait to open that box and take a look at it. If you don't know what the Bounty Collection is, they're these little figures here. They're just two, two and a half inch little Grogu figures based on epic moments from the Mandalorian and so far there's a collection of 6, 12, 18. There are 18 different little ones and I have them all. I've done video reviews of them all. I'm gonna start with the first one up here for you and then throughout the video you'll see videos pop up up there. It'll be collection 2 and collection 3 but these are cute and adorable. I love the cute little face and details on these. And when I saw that the other one was coming out, I was like, yes, I need to get that ASAP. And it finally became available for purchase. And it's this little cutie right here. Yes, it is a little six pack. He comes with the pram. He comes with a blanket, little squid in the bowl, a frog, and one of the cookies. Look, he holds the cookie. So let's take this little puppy out of the box and get a really up close look at all of his details. Now I did want to mention before I pull him out of the box, guys notice there is no plastic see-through on this. The other bounty collections come with the little plastic see-through so you can see the figure, but Disney has started moving into cardboard only packaging. Which, you know, okay, is great for the environment, but as far as a collector standpoint, I feel really, really bad for the collectors that like to sit the things on the shelf because you cannot see the actual product in these boxes. It is cardboard all the way around. So there is no sneak peeks at the little figure inside. Now, I take all of my toys out of the box because we know toys. Toys are meant to be played with no matter what your age. Thank you, Toy Story. But I also like to be able to see something before I buy it. And yeah, ah. Uh, anyway. Let's get him out of here. I'm sure he looks fine because he's a bounty collection. But yeah, kind of sad about the all cardboard box. Once you pull him out, he is displayed. Even the inside display is all cardboard. Hey guys, the only upside I can see to this is there are none of my nemeses back there. No zip ties, no little plastic things. Ah, I love that. So he should be pretty easy to get out. But it looks like the pod comes in two, three pieces, so I have to put it together. But look at little Grogu. He's so cute. And then it looks like on the back, there's a little bag that probably has the smaller items in it. So let me pull this out, put the pod together so we can see what that looks like. The pram looks pretty simple to put together, guys. There's a little hole on the bottom, and you just stick the base in there, and it just pops right in. And then this is the front of the pram, so this is the back where the hood is going to go. And the hood has a little lip along the bottom, and it's got these little tiny prongs. And there's little tiny holes right in the back of the bottom of the pram. That's where those little prongs are going to go. So let's see if it'll go together easy or if it's a little difficult. Oh no, it's easy. It sat right on there and then it does not move. It's not a pram that closes, but the details on it are pretty super killer. Yeah, their attention to detail all the way around, including the inside. Let me grab little Mr. Grogu so we can see how he looks at his pram. Well, hello little Grogu. How are you? He looks so happy and happy to be here. Now, his arms do not move. They are stuck in that position. But his hand is kind of up like this so that he can hold some of the accessories. And then this hand has where you can put the cookie in it. And one thing I noticed about this as I was pulling it out of the package, it does something that I don't think any of the other bounty collections do. I checked a couple of them and none of them that I checked do this. I didn't feel like pulling them all out. But guys, look, his head turns. <laughs> so that's really super cute. 
if they could take it one step further and make a cute little Grogu with the turning head and with articulated arms in this style, then they would have an ultimate winner on their hands. But hey, his head moves, so that's pretty cool. Other downside to him, guys, no feeties. Not a one, not even little tiny ones sticking out of the bottom. So yeah, that's kind of a boo for me. But I guess with feeties, they still could have put him on the bottom. But here is how he looks in the pram. How super adorable cute is that, guys? Oh, I love it. Well, little Mr. Dude, you've got some accessories, so let's grab that bag so we can get you all accessorized. There's a little brown bag in the pack that has his accessories in it. First, we find his cute little brown blanket. So if he wants to take a little nappy nap, then he's got his little blankie in there. Adorable. I push the little blanket back underneath him so that when I show you the accessories, you'll be able to see them a little bit better. But first, we've got the little Sorgan frog. Yes, it is super adorable. Super cute. I love this frog so much. I really, I do. I want a frog plush. Star Wars, Disney, listen to me. We need a little froggy plush. I know we got the one that comes with the big guy, and again, I'm going to say it, I've said it before, I've thought about getting one of those and cutting it off just for the frog, and I still may do that, but this is adorable. I love it, and it can sit right in little Mr. Grogu's hand, and he can hold the frog. Yes, he's got his little froggy friend. So super adorable. Now, it's pretty much a theme on this one of foods that Grogu likes, or doesn't like, or is scared of. But there's the next one, guys. It's the little squid ball. Remember the squid attack in his face? Guys, seriously, if you love Grogu, Baby Yoda, whatever you call him, and you haven't watched The Mandalorian yet, do it. Because I can 100% guarantee you that once you watch The Mandalorian, you will love this little guy even more. But back to this guy here. So he's got his little squid bowl. And then the last thing, guys, he's got a little blue cookie. How super adorable is that? And it's got a little bite taken out of it. <laughs> How super fun. But his hand is shaped so that you could stick the cookie in the hand. So let me pull him out of his pram so we can get a really good look at that. And there it is, guys. Grogu wants to share his cookie with you. It's got a bite taken out of it, but he's going to share because he's a fun guy and he likes to share with others. Maybe not. He stole the cookies from the kid, but yeah. He loves his cookies, and this Grogu wants to share it with you. What do you think of that, guys? I think that's so totally super cute and adorable. And look, he can turn his head so he's like looking at his cookie. Oh, I, I love this, and I adore this set. I think it is just, yeah. Guys, I'm doing it now. On our scale of totally bad to totally rad, this set is definitely a totally rad. It's not a beyond totally rad for me. It's really, really super close. Had he had feeties, then yes, it would have been a beyond totally rad. But because the head turns and all of the accessories that come with it, it's really close to going beyond, but not quite there yet. And look, guys, you can even make him hold the little froggy. That is so adorable. So he's got the frog, and let's give him his little squid lunch. And yet, you've got one really happy, happy, hungry Grogu. He's got all the snacks and his cookies in his pram with his blankie for safekeeping. This little dude just became available this week. He was finally released. He was announced a few weeks ago back in July by Hasbro. They are the ones who make the bounty collection. They had a little kind of con at home thing and they announced all kinds of things that are coming out. They've got this guy that just released, and guys, there's a mission fleet with the Razor Crest coming. Yeah, check that out. I have pretty much zero information on that right now, other than what I've seen a few of the other blogs say about it. But it says it's releasing this fall, so I will definitely keep you updated on that one when I find out more information. But back to little Grogu in the pram here, in his little play pack. 
This is available for sale now. I got mine through Amazon. It was $15.99 plus prime free shipping and it got here. I think it took two days. So that's not bad at all. It may have next day delivery now. I think I had ordered it before it was actually officially released. But he's super cute and super adorable and totally worth it if you have the bounty collection and want to add to that. I will put the link to him in the description of the video. Now I also saw some people said they found theirs at Target. So they may be out in your Target store. I'm at my Target store at least three times a week and I haven't seen them at mine yet. Boo hoo. But I got mine through Amazon so I'm okay with that. But yeah, if you want to check it and don't want to get it on Amazon, keep checking your local Target stores. So, yes, I think he is pretty super cute and adorbs, but of course I mentioned some things on my wish list. I would love a little bounty collection figure just like this one, but where the arms moved. And I'd also like a full plush of the bounty collection. Now, there's this guy here, which is the hideaway plush. If you missed my review of that one, yeah, go check that video out. But he has the little pram inside and you can turn him inside out and hide him in his pram. He is a bounty collection plush, but he's not a full plush. I would love maybe a little bit bigger, but with this same little plushy face, because he's super cute and I do kind of adore him too. <laughs> Alright, I adore all my Baby Yoda Grogu stuff, we know that. There's very few and far between that I'm like, yeah, nope, going back. But. I love them, I adore them, and those are the two things on my wish list for now. So what do you guys think of this one? Yeah? Do you think he's totally rad like I do? And what's on your little Grogu bounty collection wish list? I would love a Series 4 one too, maybe like a little Grogu and R2 one? That would be totally rad, right guys? But we'll just have to wait and see what they come out with in the future. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right little dude? We'll see ya later.